What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are watching scary stories that turned out to be true. If you like this video, please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get into the video. I was forced to stay awake for 30 days straight. They call it the Russian sleep experiment. They put five of us into a room and released a gas. That made it impossible to go to sleep. We were all captured war prisoners. They were studying us to see what would happen to a human if they stay awake for 30 days. Day one everything seemed fine. We were promised freedom after we completed the experiment. But as the days went by, our conversations grew darker. Paranoia took hold, tearing us apart. On day nine, one of us started screaming uncontrollably until his vocal cords gave out. The rest of smeared our own feces over the glass so they couldn't see us. On the 15th day, they needed to know what was happening. They turned off the gas and opened the doors. They were not ready for the horrific scene they were about to walk into, flesh torn. We consumed our own bodies, desperate to stay awake. We didn't want to leave anymore. We begged them to turn the gas back on, but they refused to help us. Somehow we were able to survive all this, but we knew it would be the end when we fell asleep. Remember us, remember our torment. I'm pretty certain that a human can only live around 11 days, but maybe there was something in that gas that was keeping them going for 30 days. We all know how much I love to use the reference of The Walking Dead. Well, this is it right here. But unfortunately, the thing that's turning these people into zombies is drugs. Night security, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And we see something coming at us at midnight. That looked like a human experiment gone wrong. Wow, it sounds like this boy had a near-death experience. Hearing that story makes me believe that there is more than just this existence. It was a dark and stormy night when I stumbled upon an old photo album hidden away in the attic. As I flipped through the pages, 
I came across a photograph that sent shivers down my spine. The photo was taken during a class retreat in the late 90s at a resort in Pansol, Laguna. It captured a group of students, including myself, smiling and posing for the camera. But what caught my attention was the girl in the background. Her face was blurry, and she wore all black, standing ominously amidst the cheerful group. None of us recognized her. We began to suspect that one of our classmates might have been playing a prank, disguising themselves as the mysterious girl. We confronted our classmate. But she adamantly denied any involvement, claiming she was out shopping during the time the photo was taken. Curiosity consumed me, and I couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. That night, after taking a shower, I couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched. It wasn't the usual confidence-boosting attention, it was a chilling presence that made my skin crawl. Driven by an inexplicable force, I decided to examine the negative of the photograph. As I held it up to the light, my heart skipped a beat. There, on the negative film, was the faint silhouette of the girl's body. It was as if she had left an indelible mark, a haunting imprint on the very fabric of the photo. Fear consumed me as I realized that the mysterious girl was more than just an unexplained presence. She was something otherworldly, a restless spirit captured in that fateful moment. I couldn't escape the feeling that she was still watching, lurking in the shadows, waiting for her story to be told. From that day forward, I couldn't look at the photograph without feeling a shiver down my spine. The mystery of the girl in the black clothes haunted me, a reminder that some secrets should remain buried in the depths of forgotten memories. I think it's amazing how you can capture so many different things on film. Things that you never thought would be there. Anyway, that's all I've got. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.